Ferrari's 2024 F1 Challenger has undergone an extensive redesign for the upcoming season, with 95% of its components being redesigned for the SF24. While the SF23 was quick over a single lap, it struggled to find the same level of consistency over a race distance, something that the team have tried to rectify for the new season. It's too early to state whether those targets have been achieved, given the SF24 has only just had its shakedown at Fiorano, but given this car finally has the ability to fully implement the in-season changes the team made in adopting Red Bull's leading car philosophy at Barcelona in 2023, they should see some impressive numbers coming out of the wind tunnel. The Ferrari SF24 bears a much more striking resemblance to that of last year's dominant RB19, having had the winter to design a completely new chassis around the downwashed side pod concept that the Red Bull outfit employs. Gone is the protruding lower side impact structure that was evident across both of the side pod designs Ferrari utilised last year. With it now firmly housed lower down within the SF20 floor's floor structure, this frees up a considerable amount of space, which they've used to good effect. The side pods for 2024 now have a steep undercut thanks to the lowering of the cis fairing to help manage the undercut flow and side flow towards the rear of the car. Ferrari have also introduced the lower underbite lip that Red Bull used on their RB19. Again, all these changes are aimed at helping to guide the airflow into the outlet as well as over the side pods towards the rear end. And speaking of guiding the airflow towards the rear end, another feature Ferrari have introduced on the SF24 is the smallest version I've ever seen of a water slide. It's far less aggressive than that of either of McLaren and Aston Martins and finishes or rather starts a lot further back in the side pod than either of those two teams. Also take note to how aggressive the undercut is on this side pod. It's just as aggressive as the undercut on the Aston Martin which was equally impressive. Ferrari's front ring and nose has undergone a few structural changes. One such notable change is to the nose. The nose itself is now more rounded than that of the predecessor's SF23, and it has different fixations to the main plane, which also has more of a rounded curvature in the central area. Another notable change from this year when comparing to last year is the fact that they've got rid of the slot gaps on the upper two elements of the front ring. Whether these return at any point in season, only time will tell. The front suspension is another area that's had a lot of attention paid to. While the team have stuck with a push rod layout suspension, they have made changes to the geometry for 2024 with the aim of increasing the level of anti-dive produced. As you can see from the two comparison shots of the cars, the upper wishbone on the SF24 has seen a dramatic change, with it now situated much higher up on the side of the chassis. This obviously has a aerodynamic benefit as well as helping with the anti-dive system. Turning our attention to the halo on the Ferrari, there is a novel kind of winglet that's been introduced with it this year. Uh, It's obviously being used to direct airflow in a certain direction, which is obviously towards the rear end. And this will help guide airflow over the cannon outlet of the engine cover, which for this season is also another change that they've implemented. Again, taken from Red Bull and their RB19. For last year on the SF23, Ferrari had a lot more of the cooling and radiators housed within the side pods and thus they had a streamlined engine cover. But this year everything has done a complete 360. And for the SF24, the team have now chosen to go the route of having much more centerline cooling 
this season. What that means is all the internals and the radiators have moved away from the side pods, allowing them to be shrink wrapped a lot more than they were on the SF23. And instead, they're housing most of the internals now within the engine cover region of the car. If you see the comparison on the screen currently, you can see the exact differences between the engine cover on the SF23 versus the SF24. Whereas last year, they had a very tightly shrink wrapped bodywork around the engine cover. This year, they've had to open up this bodywork now as a consequence of the housing of the internals within it. But this has a much more positive outlook as this is a solution Red Bull has utilized for the current generation of cars. In closing, while the Ferrari may on the surface look like there's not been much of a refinement taking place, in actuality there has been considerable work done across the entire car. Uh, and what I believe this is going to enable them to do throughout the year is develop a lot more cleanly than they did last season, all in one direction. Uh, and I expect to see them a lot nearer the front as the result of all the hard work they've put in over the winter. Right guys, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's been informative to you. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, subscribe and comment on your thoughts on the Ferrari SF24. Right everyone, I'll catch you all tomorrow in another car launch breakdown video.